Marcus and Leloy Barbecue Meats in uh, downtown Chinatown, Vancouver. This, out of all the places in Chinatown, is the best place to get barbecue pork and barbecue done. Why? Because it's super succulent. It is the best flavor and what I love, the dark stuff here. All the dark stuff, the crusts, the glazed crust. That is the sweetest, most caramelized. So I'm going to take you inside. We're going to meet some people and we're going to eat some pork. Oh, gotta get in line. Gotta get in line. Get to the back. So, so how starts. often do you come here, dude? Um, this, so I live right down the road from here, and literally this is like two blocks away. So I come here. One of my favorite things to do if I'm really hungry is just buy some of this barbecue pork, uh, steam some rice at home, steam some broccoli, dinner. That's all it is. It's perfect. Barbecue pork sandwiches, pulled barbecue pork. Right now, he's getting us barbecue pork. So this is all uh, loin, um, and I specifically like the darker meats. Uh, I find it's got way better flavor, and I like the stuff that's a little crispy black on the side. It's amazing with that knife. See how much you get for four bucks? It's amazing. It just keeps coming. Up. So, what we got here? This is why it's popular with the locals. That's four dollars worth of pork. And this is my favorite piece right there. Look how crispy and black and dark that is. That is super sweet, caramelized, crunchy, it's got texture. And then on the inside, it's just really good. Fantastic. My name is Chris Mills. We are in Chinatown in Vancouver, and we're at the site of Vancouver's probably anywhere's best barbecue pork. This is this is North America's uh, second largest working Chinatown. We're at Li Loy Barbecue Company, and this is what we're here for. This is the magic. This is barbecue pork loin, made fresh every day, and it is probably the best meat you will ever have. This is the best barbecue pork you'll have ever had. Let's go inside. Candy. Now describe the, the taste and texture to me. Using words I'll, I'll, I'll understand. It's sweet. It's like candied meat. It's like, it's like pork jerky. Chinese pork jerky. Hello. Hi. Are you coming here at the right time? This says big head fish. Right? Big head fish? Yeah. Uh, but, but those heads are actually still moving sometimes. <laughs> They're moving out. Really? Yeah. Which one? This one's moving. I mean. Sometimes uh, their, their fin will still move. We're gonna come back. Okay. Thank you. This, your seafood looks great today. Wild sockeye salmon. This is one of uh, our just prides, right? Which is the black cod or the blue green cod. It is the most buttery fish we've got. It lives deep in the ocean. So the lower it is, right, the colder it is, it's gotta have lots of fat to keep it warm. Really good. Well, this is one of North America's second biggest Chinatowns. No, it is North America's second biggest Chinatown. It's where I live. It's where I shop. I think it's got some of the best tasting food, the best flavors, uh, and it's just full of really interesting people. That's not true at all. Uh, but it is, kind of. <laughs> uh, um, but what I want to show you are some of my favorite places to eat. Some of the food that's just so awesome. Good. And typically people, if they don't know about uh, where to find these, they're not going to venture out. They're not going to try it. So I just want to show you some of these nuggets. So you're telling me you shop down here? This is where you go grocery shopping? Absolutely. Do you trade you can, in Safeway? Or this is absolutely. You can find everything here more fresh. And the Chinese are thrifty. You can buy it cheaper. Wow.
Muscles, scallops. scallops. So I recognize those. Look at this, all the different grades of scallops. More muscles. Yeah, just all the different styles of shrimp. So um, why would you have this many different? Well, well, it's it's seasoning and it's different grades. I mean, you can make a choice. Obviously, this is a lot more expensive than that. So depending on the color, so what the, the shrimp has been feeding on, it's going to have a certain type of flavor. I don't particularly buy this stuff, but a lot of people do. Okay, so here we are in Chinatown, and a lot of people would walk by this. But this dried shrimp is fantastic used in a lot of Asian items. Think about it, fish sauce. You use fish sauce right now. This is what it's made from. This is one step back. I make a great papaya salad using this. with Chris Mills, executive chef at Joey, yeah. and uh, he's we're, showing us some cool stuff. We're checking some stuff out. Well, here we are. This is a medicinal shop, Asian uh, Chinese medicine. Um, a lot of this stuff is here to be brewed up, but this one in particular is my favorite. This is lizard on a stick, and it's just an excellent snack food. Um, I'm not going to try it today, but people take this around and uh, eat it. So it's like an Asian lollipop. Yeah. These are dried persimmons. Okay. Raisins, and it's all here. Pumpkin seeds, squash seeds. Like, like, look at these giant pieces of uh, cinnamon bark over in the corner there, right in front of the fungus. Yeah. What would you use that for? Well, Any the, idea? The cinnamon is brewed into okay. teas. The fungus is brewed into teas. Most of this is brewed into some sort of uh, tea mixture that you drink for ailing lives.